<laughs> okay. Point. We're, we're, um, we're not the mag. We're, we're live and we're talking, we seem to be in mid conversation about mugs, so I'll just take it on. We're recording. Okay. So, I was just asking everyone in the room that no one is confused that they're the mug. No one's going to argue with me that I am this mug. Don't try and break my reality. And the reason is, the mug is neutral, it's meaningless, it holds no value, there's no baggage for anyone. And so there seems to be this detached viewing. The mug, uh, detached viewing of the mug. Okay, so self-inquiry is like inquiring, what am I? Like everyone, everyone knows they're not the mug and they're, de they're detached from the mug. Okay, now let's take it to the next level. Now, um, what about you know, also the thing with the mug, you know, the, the, a mug is an object, right? Now everyone knows, like, if I hide the mug, it's not there. If the mug's in front of them, they're aware that the mug's there, and they're, they're aware that the mug can pass and not be there, okay? So it, it's a passing object, <clears throat> okay? So that which observes the mug is not the mug, okay? That which is observing the mug is not the mug. So just because there's a mug in front of everyone doesn't mean that you are the mug. True. Yeah. Okay, so and the mug can pass, and that which is observing the mug pass is not the mug. Just because the mug is in front of you doesn't mean you are the mug. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> and if the mug and when the mug is not there, you are still here. Mm. Yeah? Okay, so that's great. I'm glad everyone agreed on that first one. Okay. So, next we go to thoughts, okay? So, in the, in, in the inquiry practice, uh, one, one wants to uh, see if one is the thoughts, or is one the observer of the thoughts passing by? Is one, okay, now, if, if something comes up like, um, it seems like the thoughts are what one is, then that's what I call that that must mean one is very identified or one is valuing the thoughts or one is interested in the thoughts. If you value or make anything interesting, there seems to become this confusion seems to happen and there seems to be like this thing of like, it seems like I am the thoughts. But if something is, is observed with detachment, it's very, very clear that one is not the thing that is passing by. So this is the first level. I want everyone to practice with, is one, I, this is like an experiential exercise, not an intellectual exercise, because obviously that which is observing thoughts cannot think. Yeah. So do thoughts pass by? And is there a clarity in your experimentation or in your inquiry process that there is clear a clear spiritual experience that that which observes thoughts passing, the thoughts are not you, they just pass by. There's something more intimate. Okay, the next thing is, what about images? What about images and memories? Like, if, a, if, if, a, if a, an image comes, comes past or a memory comes past, is one the observer of the memory or the image, or is one the image? And, you know, if something is coming and going, mm -hmm. Is one, can one be anything that is passing in front of the, the, the observer? Well, it must have <coughs> come from some level of your conscious mind, or unconscious mind for that matter. Um, <coughs> that it doesn't mean I'm it, but it does mean it's relevant-ish. Well, um, then you see, whatever comes up, see if one can be the observer of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and if one is... And if the observer seems to have a relationship with whatever it is that is passing by, see if there is another observer which has no relationship with that which is passing. You see? So there's no identification, there's no, there's no identification, there's no projected meaning. There's no value to it. Is there an observer here which has no attachment, no valuing, no... Um, no, um, uh, an observer which is not trying to make a relationship with that which is passing by. 
So see that. Okay, so we have thoughts, we have like images passing by, we have thoughts passing by, we have images passing by. Also, like there's observed, a feeling may start to arise, you know, and it may come up, it may be loud, and then it may pass by. But is, is there an observer of the feelings that come and go? So all of these things are coming and going. Thoughts are coming and going. Feelings may be rising and falling. Images may pass by. Um, even if we can go into more intimate levels, there may be something that seems to be tracking time. But is there something which is observing the passing of time? Uh, there may be something which is relating to um, location, but is there something which is observing the location? So again, if there seems to be like a relationship with it, is there a detached observer that is watching these things? So this is the practice. And at the end I'll be seeing how far one can go, because ultimately, is there something here that can be experienced which is not passing, which can never pass, which is not in time, which is not in location, and which is not a thing that comes and goes, you know? Because everyone can say, I mean, that can be their experience. My experience is I am this passing thought, or my experience is this image I had is me, or, or this feeling was me. But is there? I want you to, the practice is to see, is there a detached observer which is just watches this past which has no relationship to these passing things, or we could call them passing clouds or whatever they are. So, you know, it's one of the old spiritual metaphors. I just quickly put it in there before we do the practice. It's like, if my thoughts and my images and these feelings are like clouds that pass by, am I the clouds or am I the sky in which the clouds pass by? But this is not like an intellectual thing for you to think about. This is an experiential exercise to experience. You know, I want, I want to see how far one can go and where one gets stuck in with this. So we're all going to have five minutes 